This is <laughs> uh, honestly, uh, I'm, I'm, I, I don't mean to. Uh, that's not to denigrate the other three, but I mean, come on, right? Oh, and this one's in Western New York for a change, and so um, the Chiefs. I wouldn't say they flipped the switch, but I think they found it on the wall. You know what I'm saying? And uh, and the Bills are playing some of the best football we've seen in the last month and a half, two months, and they are feeling it. They're feeling yep. good, and Allen is just a touchdown-making machine. Um, I, I'll, I'll say it. I mean, he, he like Kaepernick, you know, in his year where he was running it, throwing it, and he was like, we, we called him the ATM. Like, you put the – the card in and out came either checking or savings money. It was just somewhere. It was coming out. The money was coming out. So that's my long-winded setup to ask you your thoughts on this game, how it's going to play out. Yeah. Um, I think I, I heard or I read where, you know, people or well, someone asked Patrick uh, uh, the question, and I'm paraphrasing a little bit here, is the defense really leading the way here? Are you riding the defense? Are you guys, is it possible that you guys can ride the defense all the way back to the Super Bowl this year instead of you in particular in the offense? I think his answer was, yeah, absolutely. We, we see what's happening here. We see how we're set up this year. And I guess what that leads me into is this. The key to this game for Kansas City, knowing what ails Kansas City offensively, which is the lack of consistent, explosive down the field playmaking, not that they can't do it. It's just not consistent like it was. The key to this game is defensively, their team speed and their physicality on defense has to be on full display. It has to be at its very, very, very best. And they are very good on all three levels. You saw, you see the clip last week of Legereus Sneed, although it was on a slippery track, just pounding Tyreek Hill and throwing him to the ground at the line of scrimmage. Mm-hmm. Got up on the line and press. I mean, just really knocked him, knocked him to the ground. That's what it. When you talk about a fist fight and a heavyweight, that's what. The, that's how they have to play. Buffalo. That's how they have to play Buffalo. It has to be every play. I'm basically cocking my fist back and I'm hitting you right in the face mm. before you even get started. Chris Jones have to be at your very best. Charles Amanda who be at your very best. Um, Tranquil will be at your very best. Willie Gay, Nick Bolton. These guys can run now, and they can't miss. They can't miss when Josh breaks the line of scrimmage. They can't miss when James Cook breaks the line of scrimmage. And Legarius, you can't let Stefan get get going. You can't. And they're gonna and, and Spagnolo's gonna have to call a masterpiece. And I think they can do it. It'll be tough as hell. And that you know what what if there's if there's a place maybe I don't know which place will have the best environment this week probably Detroit. Detroit will be like unconscious. But Buffalo's going to be crazy. Man. Yeah, I mean, because again, they, they 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 have two home games in a row, which yeah. you know, uh, and and one of them's Mahomes. Like this yeah. is and, and this is it. Yeah. Like they have been, I'm sure, just sitting there shaking their heads in these postseason losses, going, "Why do we have to be there?" You know, yeah. and and they finally get it in their house, and they are playing terrific, and and defensively they've been terrific. I I, I likened it to the to the night from. Um, from uh, Monty Python's Holy Grail that keeps getting chopped up, and he's like, it's just a flesh wound. They, they uh, Honestly, they probably lead the league in star players that you say, well, that guy they can't afford to lose, and yeah. and and they keep going. It's unbelievable, well, you know? And, and see, and everything I've said so far about that matchup about Kansas City, like, and people are like, hey, knucklehead, they still have Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's true. And, you know, Rasheed Rice – is starting to look like a guy who said, you know what? I, like he looked around and was like, well, no one else wants to do it. I guess I'll do it. I'm the rookie. <laughs> said, I'll do it again. I'll become the guy. If you want me to be the guy, I'll be the guy. You want, you want a hero? I'll be your hero. And Travis Kelsey is still he's pretty good. He's still pretty good. And that offensive line is still a top three offensive line in football. So they got to hold it down. And Andy Reid, he's pretty good. I can't wait. This is a great great get like I'm sitting here talking to you dude and I'm sitting here like just for a minute and thinking like everyone says the divisional round in the in the NFL season is always the best weekend like mm-hmm. this week you know like honestly if you love football you have to tell your family if there's people in your family <laughs> you get away from me this weekend Leave me alone. Get, the house has to be burning down <laughs> Okay. Like literally, and even if it is burning down, 
It's like that little that little meme or that gif where the dog's sitting there and everything's burning. Yeah, sitting there going, it's fine. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's this week. Everything's fine. You're it's right. Like it is because anybody could win it. I mean, you you could truly say it. You cannot sit here and say the teams that are in it. Um, all of them have no shot. You really can't say it, and uh, that's what it's all about. And that's why I wanted to talk to you today, Lewis. You get me fired up. I love talking ball with you. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.